folks, Dr. Document Camera here. Today we're comparing the Elmo TT12 ID with the Hovercam Ultra 8. So, what I'm going to do for you here is we're going to talk about each camera's uh, features, benefits, functionality, and then I'm going to connect them to this giant LCD screen you see behind me. I'm going to take a look at the kind of image quality you can get from them. Now, each of these cameras are HDMI 1080p HD cameras. You might know the Elmo TT12 is a leader in the field. There's been a TT version of the Elmo around for a really long time. Basically, it is the epitome of a document camera. Hovercam has been around for quite a while too, and they're getting really high performance, really low price, and this is a first for Hovercam. They now have HDMI output, 1080p, with an LCD touchscreen built in. So we're gonna put these two head to head and uh, I'll let you know what I think. Hopefully, you agree. <laughs> All right, so I'm here now, and I have our Elmo TT12 ID set up. I have it plugged directly into this LCD screen that you see behind me. We have a 1080p camera, 1080p LCD screen. So I didn't really know what to show you that could actually show you 1080p resolution, but I'm just going to show you some movement and how good the video is on the screen. So I put this black cloth down on the table to reduce glare and give us a better image. And we're looking at the Elmo's remote right here. As you can see, we got a real nice clear image from it. We have our optical zoom uh, from Elmo right here. We can adjust it on this wheel right on the end of the camera. And you hit your autofocus button, which is that orange button right there. It does the autofocus for you. And as you can see, there's autofocus right on the remote too. I'm going to zoom out for a second. I mentioned earlier that you get the most out of this camera when it's connected this way, when it's connected through HDMI right into your display device. And the reason for that is, watch, there's my hand. One, two, three, four, five. It's happening in real time as I'm counting. One, two, three, four. There's no delay. It's a fantastic image. So whether I'm just putting my still object down there, my math homework, a piece of paper, whatever, you're going to get a nice clear image up there. But when you do want to write those math equations, you're going to see your hand moving across the screen just as well as you are right now. There's not going to be a delay. So if you're writing 2 plus 2, you're going to see it up there. Your audience and class is going to see it up there as you write it. You won't be writing equals 4 while they're seeing a plus sign being drawn. Sometimes when you have a camera connected to your computer, that's what can happen. So, again, I just wanted to show you real high quality image, good video speed from it. We got optical zoom. We can zoom in. You can see just how messed up my hand is. Yeah. Um, again, it's a little dark because I, I changed the settings on here to make it look a little bit better. But I can increase that a little bit. And the lighting in here is pretty extreme, so you might find in a low light setting um, this will excel because you'll still get really good brightness from it. Uh, and as you can see where it's really bright in here, it's really bright. So that's about it for the Elmo. I'm going to now show you the Hovercam Ultra 8. So this is our LCD screen here on the Hovercam Ultra 8. As you can see, you see my hand and you see the Ultra 8's remote right there on this LCD screen as well as on the screen behind me. So if you're looking right there, you'll see it up there as well. I'm moving my fingers, they're moving around on both screens at the same time. That's because this is a preview monitor. So you'll see exactly what your audience is seeing at the time they're seeing it. So as a presenter, you don't have to turn around, crane your neck, look behind you, not know where you're going. You just look down at the camera and you can now adjust your object accordingly, however you want to adjust it. You want to write, do math problems, something like that. You can see it right there. There you go. But, as I mentioned, this is also the camera control panel. So you'll see all these little icons here. We have zoom, or yes, we have zoom there. We have autofocus, autofocus lock. We have our capture image button. We have our capture video button. We have our pause button if you want to freeze the image. Uh, then we have uh, what looks like a little computer monitor here. This lets you choose your video output whether it's HDMI, VGA, or USB. We're going to keep it with HDMI for now. Uh, this is a pretty neat feature. It'll pull up all your saved images. Uh, so 
you see them right there and you can access those whenever you want pull them up on screen here's your settings so you can adjust your color white balance saturation sharpness zoom focus I had to do a little messing around with it because of the lights in the room here uh, so you can do so in your room as well there are several automatic settings so you can just set to auto let the camera do its thing or you can adjust it how you like it and then you have your camera settings in here so you can actually flip the LCD screen over depending on how you want to set the camera up you can change different languages run diagnostics update your firmware everything right from there so pretty powerful little camera you can access everything right from it and in addition to that I just want to show you the video quality so you may have seen my hand moving around up here before but again one two three four it's happening in real time there's no delay as I move my hand you're seeing it on the screen so we're getting full 1080p HD from this camera it's going up there now I mentioned saving images with the Elmo you had onboard memory SD card slot and USB with the hover cam here there's a micro SD card slot right here on the camera it comes with that micro SD card so it's already in the camera when you get it so you can automatically start saving images and video right to that SD card now you have a card reader for your computer or another device smartphone or something you can put that in there and access those images you can also plug this camera into your computer with USB and you can run the camera that way to your computer and you can access the files as well so pretty nice little camera again you're going to be paying higher dollar for the Elmo a little bit less for the hover cam but you're getting that same video quality out of that some might say that the optical zoom on the Elmo is better maybe not I don't know I've tried both I like both uh, if you've got a really uh, high high resolution application something you really need to be sharp maybe that optical zoom will be better but for most applications the hover cam zoom is going to get the job done and then some oh by the way just one other thing the ultra 8 is the only document camera that can output HDMI and USB 3.0 so if you did want to connect to your computer your video quality is not going to suffer you could check some of our other videos and see the Elmo and other cameras plugged in through USB and you'll find it does slow down a lot so where does Dr. Document Camera stand? Well, I like both cameras. I know both cameras have their place. I've seen both cameras in action. So I can't really say you should definitely buy one over the other. But when budgets are concerned, Hovercam is going to help you out there. Uh, if you've got the room for the Elmo, remember, it's fairly large. So if you've got the room for it, great. As long as you're hooking both of these cameras up with HDMI or VGA if you have to, you really can't go wrong with either one. I always recommend the hover cam though. Lower dollar amount and you got this LCD preview monitor that's really cool. And you can just kind of close it up, fold it, put it away. How can you argue with that? So this is always a great choice. Elmo though, great choice as well. But like I said, when it comes down to dollars, your hover cam is going to come in for you a little bit lower. Uh, if you did want to use one of these cameras and connect it directly to your computer, I'd say definitely check out some of the other hover cams, uh, specifically the Solo 8, and definitely check out our Solo 8 versus Elmo TT12 ID video because both of those are connected to a computer. That hover cam has to. The Elmo, I find most people connected to a computer. And in my opinion, you're not getting everything out of it. So if you're going to connect it through HDMI, then that almost is a great choice. So if you still can't decide, if this wasn't enough for you, feel free to give me a call. We can talk about it some more. Or talk to any one of the other document camera pro professionals here at Touchboards. And uh, we'll, we'll find the right solution for you.